Uh, I remember, oh, this is a weird story. Not having seen the show, not having seen the show, about the third day or the second day, we're sitting down, Linda and I, in her apartment eating Chinese food. And I said something and I looked up and I saw the scars on her face for the first time. And I went, oh, and I felt really, really bad. Like I didn't want to say anything, you know. I didn't know. I was like, and I went, Trying not to look. Right? <laughs> uh, and I finally like had to ask her, I said, like, what happened to you? And I'm thinking, did they shoot on the other side? And she looked at me and she went, Oh, you have the saddest eyes. No, it's makeup. It's Yeah, I had, I had caught it a couple other times, but to be honest, I don't I don't have a television. So. <laughs> yeah. Were you surprised, or did you know that when they contacted you about coming to be with us, that there was still an active fandom? Yes, completely. <laughs> I think it's so great. I think it's so great. Actually, um, I ran into Ron Coslow at one point, and he told me that it was continuing on with stuff, and that I should try to hook up with him. And, like, oh, sure, that's great. And I think I went to I went to a Quantum Leap convention and someone said, I remember you're Michael. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which, which Quantum Leap episode did you do? I thought I had seen all of them. Pardon me? Which yeah. Quantum Leap did you do? I think it was called Liberation. What? No. What did I do? Uh, I was rescued like 10 years prior and I, I turned like 20, 18, 19, 20, and, and Vincent wanted me to go to college. And so... Quantum Leap, it was, yes, it was Liberation. It was uh, all about... Uh, it, he went back and he... Uh, basically, it was in the Equal Rights of Movement, and I was a jerk. I was an asshole. And, and told my pregnant wife not to eat Cheetos so she wouldn't get fat. <laughs> Just acting like I knew everything. Yeah. Yeah, see, 
I grow a beard. <laughs> I'm growing a beard. I guess it's uh, the same kind of thing. Um, I was very fortunate. I, I got a lot of work when I was young. Um, and, and just a man when I was younger. Um, yeah, no, I started out. Do you want to hear a little of my brief history or something? I started out and uh, doing plays in Santa Barbara. Came down. Uh, my brother and I, who's going to be a major TV star, look for him on UPN. He's Deadly Games. Deadly Games, James Calvert. He's, he's great. I love my brother. Um, so watch that, 8 p.m. Tuesday night. Uh, so we did an episode of The Jeffersons. So that shows you how far back I go. We played William Wally Whittendale in the big two-part episode of uh, uh, Halloween. Uh, and then I did various roles and was on a short-lived TV series called Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Do you remember that? I was, uh, Dean Cameron played uh, Spicoli and I was like his best friend. Uh, so I had long hair and sang a big duet with him up on the stage. And, uh, Everyone was in that, and then uh, did a couple movies. Uh, did uh, then I did Slam. Did a, a really cheesy horror film called Chud Two. I shouldn't call it cheesy. Thank you. It was cheesy. I really wanted to do a cheesy horror film. Uh, uh, slap this, that, the other. I was in Heart and Souls. Did you ever see Heart and Souls? I was the father who was uh, in the beginning of the flashback, Honey, are we having a kid? It's a rambler. And then we get to the exit. and he grows up to be Robert Downey Jr. So I was Robert Downey Jr.'s dad. <laughs> um, and that kind of brings us up to date.